Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm a San Diego-based criminal defense attorney. I'm also the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro. In this video, I want to talk to you about possession for sale of a controlled substance, particularly in San Diego, and particularly a lot of misconceptions and myths out there that, that quite frankly, is just not right, and it's inaccurate as it relates to being charged with or under investigation for possession for sales. First myth is a lot of people think that you have to actually be selling or get caught in the act of selling drugs to be charged with possession with the intent to sell. That's absolutely not true. In fact, there's a separate charge under health and safety code sections, either in the 11350 series or the 11377, 378, 379 series that focuses just on possession for sale as compared to when you're dealing with situations of actually selling the drug. So possession for sale, something like cocaine is health and safety code section 11351. Possession for sale of something like methamphetamine is 11378 of the health and safety code section. So you don't actually have to be caught in the act of selling the drug to be charged. A key factor a prosecutor is gonna look at is how much of the drug did you have in your possession and what other reliable basically indicators of sales do you have on you, on your phone? Are there pay and O sheets where, you know, it's basically a laundry list of who owes you what and who's buying what and at what time? Cell phone is key as well. All of those factors go into whether or not there's gonna be enough evidence to charge you and ultimately to convict you of being in possession of a controlled substance for purposes of sale. Let's assume though that the case can be proven against you. Not all hope is lost. In fact, in many instances, that's where having a good attorney and a great attorney by your side and a great law firm by your side, really, that's where really the value is there because what we can do is to try and mitigate a lot of the damage done and map out a plan on what you can do to try and avoid actual jail time and avoid what is a non-reducible felony conviction. Possession for sale of a controlled substance cannot be reduced to a misdemeanor down the road. So if you're stuck with that felony conviction, you're stuck with that felony conviction for the rest of your life. You're also facing significant time in custody. For all those reasons, it is essential if you find yourself under investigation for or being charged with possession for sale of a controlled substance to make sure you have the best locally experienced criminal defense attorney on your side. We believe we are one of the best, if not the best, San Diego-based criminal defense firms, and we can be reached at 619-295-3555.